Hey there, champions! In this tutorial, we're having a look at input groups in Resolume Wire. Input groups were introduced in Wire 7.21 and are here to help you to organize and categorize the inputs of your patch. So make sure you're up to date and let's jump right in. Here I have a complex video generator patch with about a dozen input parameters. I can drag and drop parameters in the dashboard panel to organize it, but this still leaves something to desired when running the patch in Arena. Here we are looking at an updated version of the patch with input groups. I have created sections for my parameter, grouping relevant parameters together. When we hop back over to Arena, we can fold and unfold these groups to access the parameters that we need. This covers the basic use case for input groups. Now let me show you how to create them. In this patch we have a couple of parameters ripe for grouping. There are four color parameters and three distortion parameters that I would like to group. To do so, navigate to the dashboard panel. Hit the cogwheel icon and select New Group. Group 1 is not very indicative of a color group, so let's rename that. Hit the cogwheel icon next to the group and select Rename. I will call this group Color. Next, I'm dragging all the parameters into the group. You know when a parameter is in a group when its name is grayed out. This does not mean that it cannot be used anymore. The parameter functions as expected. With that done, let's make another group for the distortion parameters. Instead of using the cogwheel to rename the group, I will double click instead as a shortcut. To create some space in the dashboard, let's fold the color group by hitting the arrow icon next to the group name. Note that I can organize parameters within the group too. I don't think we need to group the angle, softness and twist parameters, so I'll just drag them to the top of the dashboard. I also wish the distortion group to be underneath the color group. This can be achieved by simply dragging and dropping the group within the dashboard. And here we are back in Arena, where we can check out how our groups are looking. Looking damn fine if I may say so. That wraps it up for this tutorial. Now you know how to use groups. So no more excuses for messy dashboards. Check the video description if you want to play with the patches used in this video. Drop any questions, deep thoughts or fake quotes into the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.